Hi everyone, and welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Kathy. Yesterday we talked about the story of Snow White and how it might be based on the life of a real person. First, we introduced the story of Snow White. She is a beautiful princess, but her stepmother hates her. Her stepmother tells a hunter to kill her, but the hunter lets her escape. Snow White then finds a house owned by seven dwarves, small people who mine diamonds for a living. They grow fond of Snow White, and she lives with them. There is more to the story, including the poison apple and the handsome prince who saves Snow White at the end. But we also want to know about the real person behind the fairy tale. This real person was Maria Sophia von Erthal, who lived in 18th century Bavaria in Germany. People only realized she might be the real Snow White recently because her gravestone was not discovered until 2019. So, how was Sophia's life like Snow White's? Which parts of the tale are true, and which were just made up by the brothers Grimm? Let's read through day two of the article and find out. Reading. Fairest of them all, behind the Snow White fairy tale. Real life Sophia and Snow White are similar in many ways. People around Sophia said she was both beautiful and caring. When she was a teenager, her mother died and her father married again. Sophia's stepmother treated her badly and excluded her, just as the queen did to Snow White. Other details of the fairy tale are inspired by the place where Sophia grew up. Her hometown, Loramain, was near some mines that only children could fit into. These children became the seven dwarves in the story. Also, just like the queen's magic mirror, Sophia's stepmother had a special mirror that still hangs in Lor Castle today. Of course, not all of the Snow White story is based on fact. Though Snow White met her Prince Charming by the end of the story, Sophia never married. Also, there was no poisoned apple like the one used to try and kill Snow White. However, these fantasy elements, combined with Sophia's real story, have created a treasured fairy tale that is still told today. Day two of the article begins by saying, "Real life Sophia and Snow White are similar." In many ways, if two things are similar, they are almost the same, but not quite. There are some things or qualities that they both have, though the two things are not exactly alike. For example, I look similar to my brothers. You can tell that we're related. However, we don't look exactly the same. We're not identical twins. So we could also say tennis and badminton are similar sports, but there are several important differences between them. Day two, 文章开头说，现实版的 Sophia 和白雪公主在很多方面都相似。Real life 是复合形容词，意思是现实生活中的 ；similar 是形容词。意思是相近的、类似的。例如，两个兄弟长得很像，你看得出来他们是有关系的，但还是看得出来他们是不同的人。So, in what ways are the two people, Snow White and Sophia, similar? We see in the article that people around Sophia said she was both beautiful and caring. The word caring has a similar meaning to kind. Someone who is caring thinks about other people, wants them to be safe and happy, and tries to make things better when they're not. A caring person takes the time to ask about other people's health, their family, their mood, and so on. For example, we could say the caring mother is always checking on her children to make sure that they're okay. Sophia 身边的人呢，都说她既美丽又富有爱心。Care 是关心 ，caring 是形容词，有爱心的，关心他人的。另一个和 care 有关的片语是 care about。I care about how you feel。我很关心你的感受。从这个例句里面，我们也可以延伸到另一个片语 take care of， 
take good care of, 照顾或是关怀。回到文章当中 ，from the article we can see that Snow White was beautiful and kind, and so was Sophia. Yes, and here's another thing that both women have in common. The article says when she was a teenager, her mother died and her father married again. Oh, so Sophia had a stepmother, 继母 That word we introduced in day one. We also see that Sophia's stepmother treated her badly and excluded her, just as the queen did to Snow White. So if you exclude someone, you don't let them take part in things. You kind of keep them on the outside. Young children might exclude another kid by not letting that kid play with them. Adults might exclude someone by not inviting them to a group lunch or another event. Here, Sophia's mother likely excluded her by not spending time with her, not letting her take part in some of the events at their castle, making her stay in her room, and things like that. Exclude is a verb, meaning to exclude someone from the public sphere, to exclude someone from the public sphere. The opposite is to include. 包含，文章这里说 ，Sophia's stepmother treated her badly and excluded her. Sophia 的继母对她非常不好，并且凡事把她排除在外。用法有 to exclude somebody from something， 拒绝某人参与某事，或是 to exclude somebody from doing something。阻止某人做某事 ，That's mean.、Mm -hmm. But at least Sophia's stepmother didn't send a hunter to kill her. That is true. So we can see how some of the facts of Sophia's life played a part in the creation of the Snow White fairy tale. The article also says that other details of the fairy tale are inspired by the place where Sophia grew up. Now, remember, we used that word "inspire," which we taught in day one. Yep, inspire, 启发，赋予谁灵感的意思 So, where was Sophia from? The article says her hometown, Lower Maine, was near some mines that only children could fit into. So remember when we taught the verb mine yesterday? I mentioned that the places where people go to mine stone and metal are called mines. So it's a noun in that case. So we've got Sophia, and she lived near some mines, and only children could fit into them. To fit into something means to be the right size to go into a place, use a thing, and other things like that. We often talk about being too big to fit into clothes, or we could say that an elevator is so crowded that there's no room for me to fit into it as well. In the article, we're saying that these mines had tunnels that were very small, so adults couldn't fit into them. There was room for children, though. Mine day one 的时候，我们提到过，名词意思是矿坑，动词是采矿、开矿。而 fit into something 指的是适合，像这里提到矿坑的大小、形状，只适合小孩进去。大人因为身形太大了，所以进不去。Only children could fit into them. 那如果是 Being too big to fit into the clothes 就是长得太大太胖了，衣服穿不下。这时候可能就需要运动 in order to stay fit， 以便保持好身材。Fit 这个单字是指合身、适合。To stay fit 就是保持好身材。Well, I hope that doesn't mean children had to work in those mines. Sadly, it probably does.、Oh. It wasn't until more recent times that laws were made to stop children from having to do work like this. But that is a topic for another time. So these children who mined also come into the Snow White fairy tale. The article says that these children became the seven dwarves in the story.、Mm. Poor kids! It's a good thing that nowadays most children don't have to work, though. So these children who mined became the seven dwarves in the fairy tale. We also see in the article that also 
just like the queen's magic mirror, Sophia's stepmother had a special mirror that still hangs in Lura Castle today. Yeah, we never mention the queen's mirror in the story in day one, but if you know the Snow White fairy tale, you'll remember that the queen has a mirror that can talk and only speaks the truth. She always asks, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all?" And when the mirror tells her it's Snow White, the queen gets angry、mm. because she wants to be the most beautiful. Now, in this in the story, when we use fair in this way, it means beautiful. 这里要讲的单字呢，知道白雪公主故事的人一定都很熟悉。这位二皇后常常对着镜子问 ：“Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all？” 魔镜，魔镜，谁是世界上最美丽的人呢 ？Fair 是漂亮、美丽的意思，而 fairest 为形容词 ，fair 的最高级，意思是。最美丽的，在这边我们也来看一个片语 ，speaks the truth， 就是说实话。和说实话相关的另一个片语叫做 to tell the truth。例如 ，to tell the truth， I forgot it was your birthday last week。老实说，我忘了上周是你的生日。So there are a lot of real details that went into the Snow White story. As the article says, though. Of course, not all of the Snow White story is based on fact. Now we use the grammar pattern "not all of" to mean some things, but not everything. So if we said "not all of the students passed the test," we mean some did, others didn't. And another example is "not all of the drinks here have tea or coffee in them." Here we are going to look at a grammar pattern for "not all of." Not all of. 在英文里面，如果我们对事情的一个部分加以否定，就叫做部分否定。部分否定多半有表示全体、完全的字词和否定字连在一起使用。例如 ，Not all anesthetics make people unconscious. Some just stop part of the body from feeling pain. 并非所有的麻醉剂都会使人失去知觉，有些只是让身体的某些部位不感到疼痛。这里的否定词 not 加上表示全体的 all， 指的是并非全部的麻醉剂都会使人失去意识。另一个例句 ：Not every student in this class passed the English test. 这个班级并非所有的学生都通过英语测验。那如果你要表示全部否定。没有一个的意思的话呢，你可以用 no, none, neither 这些字来表示，或是否定字加 any。举个例子 ，None of the movies showing right now interest me。现在呢，正在上映的电影没有一部是吸引我的，这是全部否定的用法。Got it? Yep. So here are some things that were just made up by the Brothers Grimm to turn Snow White into a fairy tale. We see that though Snow White met her Prince Charming by the end of the story, Sophia never married. Oh, then Sophia and Snow White are not similar in this part. 我们来看一个单词 ，Prince Charming 是指白马王子。你可以说 ，I wonder where my Prince Charming is. 究竟我的白马王子在哪里呢 ？Charming 可以当形容词用，意思是迷人的。例如 ，You are so charming. And here's another part that is also different too. In the article, it says also there was no poisoned apple like the one used to try and kill Snow White. The word poison can be both a verb and a noun. As a noun, it's anything that can harm your body if you eat, drink, or breathe it. Some poisons can be natural chemicals; others can be made by, like, chemists, scientists in a lab. As a verb, to poison someone means the action of giving them poison to hurt or kill them. So when we talk about a poisoned apple, we mean an apple with poison in it. That is being used to poison Snow White. So, as a noun, another example is: This plant can be used to make a poison that kills people in seconds. As a verb, we could say: The king's evil brother poisoned him in order to become the new king. 
。这里我们要来看 poison 这个单字，它可以是名词，也可以是动词。当名词用的时候，意思指的是毒或是有害之物。而课文中 poison 是过去分词当形容词用，意思是被下毒的。A poisoned apple， 被下毒的苹果。The article finishes by saying, "However, these fantasy elements, combined with Sophia's real story, have created a treasured fairy tale that is still told today." Okay, we have quite a few words to look at in this last sentence. The first thing is the word fantasy. Fantasy is a type of fiction, so it's a type of story. It involves magic and monsters and heroes and so on, and usually has people fighting with swords or magic spells. And these stories almost always take place in a made-up world, not the real world. So yesterday we mentioned the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. These are both classic examples of fantasy stories. Harry Potter is another, and the TV show Game of Thrones is another fantasy story. 文章最后说呢，当这些充满幻想的故事与 Sophia 真实的故事结合时，就创造出了一个被讲述到今天的珍贵童话。我们来看一下 fantasy 这个字是名词，指的是奇幻故事或者是幻想。我们来用幻想的意思造个句子 ：Stop looking for a perfect job. It's only a fantasy. 别想要找十全十美的工作了，那简直是幻想。那像哈比人还有魔界都是 classic examples of fan fantasy stories， 奇幻故事的经典代表之作。And like most fairy tales, Snow White involves some fantasy elements. That's right. So here, the word element means an important or characteristic part of something. Think about movies, for example. Movies have a story, acting, music, special effects. Background scenery, and these are all elements of a movie. Fantasy elements means anything that we'd normally think about as being part of a fantasy story. So wizards, trolls, fairies, elves, and all those sorts of things. Here's another example: robots, space travel, and amazing technology are all well-known elements of science fiction stories. 另一个我们要看的字是 element 元素、要素、成分。课文中的 element 指的是重要的特征或是特色。Fantasy elements 就是任何我们在奇幻故事里面想得到的东西，例如巫师啊、仙女、小矮人等等。And for Snow White, the fantasy elements and real world details about Sophia were combined. Yes, to combine two things means to mix them together in a way that leaves just one result with the characteristics of both. For example, when you make a latte, you combine coffee, steamed milk, and often some kind of extra flavor like vanilla. Or if we combine the colors red and blue, you get purple. The idea is you put two or more things together and get one good result. For example, this movie combines American cowboys with creatures from other planets. Combine 是动词，意思是结合。用法是 to combine A with B。例如 ，It's hard to always combine work and pleasure。很难总是把工作和愉快结合在一起。而 combine 也可以指把两件事情混合在一起。我们用 mix 这个字。例如 ，By mixing the color red and blue, you get purple。把蓝色跟红色两者混合，你会得到紫色。And when we combine fantasy elements and Sophia's story, we get a treasured fairy tale. We do indeed. If something is treasured, it is loved by many people, and from this we get the verb to treasure, which is to really love something and want to keep that thing safe. We treasure our good memories, and we treasure the friendships we have with people. Treasure, of course, can also be a noun. Often, a lot of gold and other valuable things. So, as a verb, we can say, "Even though I don't get to hang out with you often, I treasure the time we spend together." And to use it as treasured, we could say, "The graduation trip I took with my high school classmates is one of my most treasured memories." 另外一个很重要的单词就是 treasure。
可以当名词，指金银财宝、贵重物品；也可以当动词，指珍爱、珍惜。课文中 ，treasure 是过去分词，当形容词用，意思是珍贵的。那我们也可以说 ，to treasure someone or something， 珍惜某人或是某件事情、某物。我们来看一个例句。Even though I don't get to hang out with you often, 即便我不常和你一起出去玩 ，I treasure the time we spend together. 我很珍惜我们一起相处的时光。So I hope that this class today can become one of your most treasured memories. And that brings us to the end of the article. So now it's time for today's for you chat question. So today's question is: Why do you think so many fairy tales are about princesses or beautiful girls? And explain your answer. So, what do you、mm. think? I think because girls tend to like fairy tales more than boys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they read them and they see these beautiful girls and princesses, and they think, "Wow, that's what I want my life to be like." Yeah, I think kind so. Kind of thing. So they're、mm-hmm. identifying with the character.、Uh, yeah, I think that's part of it. I also think that、uh, if you're writing a story,、mm-hmm. you want the reader to really hope that the main character, like good things happen. Yes. And a princess or a beautiful. Girl who you know maybe doesn't have a lot of strength or power, there、mm-hmm. we, we'd call them sympathetic characters.、Mm, that you、yes. go like, oh, I really, I'm really afraid for this person in the story,、mm-hmm. and you're more likely to. Kind of want to like them than a than a hero、oh. guy. You go well. The hero guy's a hero. He's going to be fine. But this princess, she's got nothing. You know, she's got no big、mm-hmm. sword or anything like that. Who's going to protect her? So, I think that's part of it.、Um, I think、mm-hmm. another part is because if you're an ordinary person reading this, you、yes. don't want to read about ordinary people. You want to read about people who live in palaces and have wonderful、yeah. lives. So princesses and beautiful girls like that are kind、mm-hmm. of. You know, some something else, something for you to imagine,、uh, which is an important part of stories as well.、Mm-hmm. Um, there could be other reasons.、Uh, it's that's an in, almost an entire article topic in itself. But we haven't got any more time today. So thanks for listening, everyone. For English for you, I'm Pat. I'm Kathy, and we'll talk to you again next time. Bye bye. Bye. Fairest of them all, behind the Snow White fairy tale. Real life Sophia and Snow White are similar in many ways. People around Sophia said she was both beautiful and caring. When she was a teenager, her mother died and her father married again. Sophia's stepmother treated her badly and excluded her, just as the Queen did to Snow White. Other details of the fairy tale are inspired by the place where Sophia grew up, her hometown. Laura Main was near some mines that only children could fit into. These children became the seven dwarves in the story. Also, just like the queen's magic mirror, Sophia's stepmother had a special mirror that still hangs in Laura Castle today. Of course, not all of the Snow White story is based on fact. Though Snow White met her prince charming by the end of the story, Sophia never married. Also, there was no poisoned apple like the one used to try and kill Snow White. However, these fantasy elements, combined with Sophia's real story, have created a treasured fairy tale that is still told today. Vocabulary review. Similar. The new Lion King movie is similar to the old one, but there are some differences. Caring. Teresa is the most caring person in her town. Every day, she works for free at the local homeless center. Poison. The evil servant wanted to kill his master, so he poisoned his wine. Element. One of this movie's most exciting elements is how many superstars it has. 
combine. The singer is good at combining musical styles from South America with American jazz. Treasure. The thing that Tom treasures most is a watch that was once his father's. 智慧小补帖 Exclude. Fantasy. The show is produced by Huayong Kongzhong Media. Huayong Kongzhong Media Publishing, please search the world's best bookstores. If you want to purchase books, please call 02-2364-4000. 02-2364-4000. www.dot.english.cu.dot.net.